Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about AR-15 grips and how it relates to the Edgun Leshy. I went ahead and took the bottom frame of the Edgun Leshy apart here for you to kind of show you how the safety works and some do's and don'ts with your pistol grip choice. So we've had a couple issues here um, that have caused some problems. Nothing that can't be dealt with, but I want to alleviate future problems and I want to explain to you how the safety works, what to be careful of, how you choose your grip, and which ones will actually fit on here. So the spec here is an A2 AR-15 grip, mil spec with no beaver tail. So just so you know what a beaver tail is, let me show you a beaver tail pistol grip. Let me get this out of the way here so you guys can see it. This here is the beaver tail right here. So most Magpoles, uh, Magpul Furniture, I can't remember the name of this grip here, um, but most of them have a beaver tail on the back. It's so you can get your hand in a proper position. The A2 variant, which this one's in the process of being built here, so that's why I have these little slave pins in for now. Um, this has no beaver tail, as you can see. So, same exact AR-15 lower, no beaver tail. This is an A2 spec. The grip screw that goes with an A2 uh, mil spec is supposed to be a locking washer, a one inch by one quarter, 28th fine fret thread. So it's one inch long, one quarter inch, fine thread. Now remember, this is a Russian gun. And so I want you guys to get used to using metric. So let's take a look at the difference of the screw here. This is the Edgun Leshy screw. As you can see, it fits in here and comes through the bottom. We take a look at a mil spec screw, we'll see that it's a different size. So this is actually not a mil spec screw on the Edgun Leshy. So when you choose a grip, like this one here is the Oh, I think it's called Luthair. This is called a Luthair. This fits on here, but I have to use this screw, and I need to put a washer in here. Because the depth of these screws are different. Because when you buy a mil-spec um, grip, the mil-spec expects you to use one quarter inch by one inch long by 28 thread pitch. So when you go ahead and a lot of them don't have the depth here. So when you use the factory thread, which goes into this piece here into the grip, which you're going to have to use because quarter inch doesn't fit. So you're going to have to use the supplied screw, which I think is an M4. So if you use this screw and you don't wash her up the inside of this, what will happen is, as you can see here, you can actually push the screw all the way through. And if you keep cranking on it, you can actually drive your screw through the bottom of this plate, and then it'll get in the way of the safety. Now, if the safety, as you can see, for it to go on safe, it needs to go down. Because what happens is this little arm gets pulled away from the back of the valve arm, if you will, the valve lever. Let's call it a valve lever. This arm, when I put it in safe, pulls it away from the valve lever. If I have screw to screw through here and I've made it so this can't come down, as you can see here, it can stay locked up. So, there's fire, there's safe. So it's very important that I use this screw. So I'm just warning you guys, when you guys go to pick an A2 grip, don't just uh, think, well, man, it's, the grip's loose. Let me just keep cranking this thing down until it gets tight. Because although you can put this A2 variant on here without a beaver tail, and that's no problem, the problem is that the depth of here, like I said, is supposed to be a quarter inch. This is clearly longer than a quarter inch. So you're going to have too much depth when you go to put your screw through the hole. 
coming through the bottom of this frame. So it's not going to get tight the way you want it to. So you're going to need to put some uh, washer spacers in the back here just to take up a little bit of the room so that you can grab this piece here and lock it on the frame. Okay, so just a little FYI when you guys choose your grip, if you're going to pull the factory grip off, um, make sure you put some spacers back here to take up the room of this longer grip or get a shorter one of these, excuse me, let me put it back in frame, or get a shorter one of these that fit with this grip. Okay? All right, thanks guys. If you have any questions, email me. Talk to you soon.